One group for a do don't come out to protest against the delay of any DC matter. Moto and leg work out for the busy Maritala Mohammed way. Can't get K leg as plenty use. Can't enter road. Sick of say NDC never had no great boy. Hey, it was NDC. Hey, 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 it was NDC. That is the word we want to see. Hey, 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 it was NDC. Hey, it was NDC. Hey, 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 it was NDC. That is the word we want to see. Talk talk person for the group, comrade Kola Edokbayi, talk say make them remove the agency for Ministry of Niger Delta and return them back to presidency. We have adumbrated, we have codified our demand in a single document that will be perused copiously by my own process before we transmit to the NDC authority. We detect permission of my colleagues. I want to read or deliver the speech to sign Edo citizens in conjunction with coalition of Edo volunteer groups. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to bring to the notice of everyone the pains and sufferings the people of Niger Delta region are undergoing due to the non inauguration of the spring and confirmed board of Niger Delta Development Commission nominees. The Niger Delta Development Commission, an interventionist agency, was established by an act of parliament and a special purpose vehicle to accelerate the development of the Niger Delta region, which has suffered degradation, abject poverty, deprivation, and total neglect over several decades, in spite of the fact that the region is the economic mainstream and life wire of the nation. The people of Niger Delta appreciate the gesture and the effort so far made by the federal government to bring development to the entire region. However, it must be stated that the Niger Delta region is going through very difficult times right now. And with the no inauguration of the substantive board for NDDC as presently constituted, screened and confirmed by the Senate, the woes are further compounded. It will be recalled that on the 5th of November 2019, the Senate screened and confirmed the nominees of President Buhari into the NDDC board. The expectations were high, and people joyfully awaited the inauguration of the new board. However, a sudden twist came when the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Chief Senator Gosma Akbabio, announced the commencement of the forensic audit of the Commission from 2009 to 2019. On the order of Mr. President, this was to last for three months. On the strength of the forensic audit, an interim management committee, which is an aberration, was put in place to oversee the affairs of the Commission. This was expected to last for six months. When the audit would have been completed, let it be stated loud and clear that nothing prevents a substantive board as screened and confirmed 
by the state from being in place where the audit is being carried out. After all, an audit is a check for the past activities of an organization. In this case, the NDDC and not the future activities of the Commission. Unfortunately, the intention of Mr. President to clean the organ table has been attacked by Ox, who found willing partners in the military agreement to continue with the nefarious activities in the Commission to the detriment of Nigerian data people. The Interim Management Committee stayed on board for a year revealing its standards, accusations and counter-accusations of fraud, personalization of contracts award, and massive corruption before they were summarily dissolved. Youths when call themselves concerned Edo citizens when collaborate with Edo volunteer groups can't do this with no go agree waka and talk say the Niger Delta Minister goes with Akpabiu they do NDDC like say na your own property. Since December 2020, we have one man running the affairs of the Niger Delta Development Commission as a sole administrator. This has been condemned rapidly by various stakeholders of Niger Delta as it runs contrary to the act setting up the commission, we lend our voice to the people of the region in rejecting this aberration in its totality. The group Conte Oga Presido say, make NDDC release one check, check when they do for 2nd of September 2021, Shapali. As the people of Niger Delta have a sign of relief that now the substantive board will be inaugurated the Minister of Niger Data Affairs, Senator Goswi Akpabio, compounded problems by appointing his former aide and cousin, Mr. Effion Aqua, as sole administrator of the Commission in continuous violation of the extra law guiding the Commission. We are aware that the forensic audit was submitted on the second day of September 2021 to Mr. President to the Minister of Justice and to the General of the Federation, Malam Abubakar Malami, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. We suspect that the forensic audit exposed and indicted many top and influential people in the Niger Delta region, who over the years turned the NDDC into a very fat cash cow. They have continually flexed the NDDC and stand as stumbling blocks to the realization of the set objectives of the Commission to provide infrastructural development to the region and enhance the well-being of its people. The call call on Oga Presido make it shine touch light to do check check for the Commission, sake of say the Commission know the work for Niger Delta people. We like to draw the attention of Mr. President, General Muhammad Buhari retired to some Senate facts which the continued stay of the sole administrator in NDC hotels. One, with a sole administrator, the state of the Niger Delta, except Aqua Ibo, do not have representation and therefore have no say in the activities of the Commission in the region. Two, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswi, at that view. The sole administrator, Mr. F. Young Aqua, and the senior special assistant to the president of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Ita Solomon, are all from Aqua Iba State. Effectively, the other eight states have been shut out of activities of NDC in the region for all ramifications. There is support to be a notable distribution of projects among the nine. Member states, for this has been jettisoned since Mr. F. Young Aqua took over the headship of NDDC project distribution has been lopsided with 7 to 80 percent of NDDC projects cited in Aqua Ibor. This is against the NDDC Act and cannot be tolerated. For under the present sole administrator, and the watchful eyes of the Minister of Data Data, Senator Gosper Akbabio, most employment 
have gone to their to their gates and came against the spirit of the Federal Character Commission Act, the Code of Conduct Act, and the Labor Act. It was this development that led to mass protests against Senator Roswell and Akabio. Employing 1,000 of his teachmen by the United Data Youth, as reported in the Guardian newspaper of 8th day of September 2021. This is nepotism and must be checked. Five, if it is a no fact that oil majors operating in the region channel millions of dollars through the NDDC towards the empowerment and other social responsibility act for youth in communities where they operate. As we speak, no single empowerment program has taken place in any of the member states except in Aqua Epo. Yes, Senator Akabio and Mr. F. Young Aqua have domiciled all NDDC activities. In the same vein, no scholarship has been advertised or awarded by the Commission since the coming of these present managers of NDDC. Six. From the underlying facts that have emerged since completion and submission of the forensic audit, it is clear now that the audit was a mere excuse by the Minister to delay the inauguration of the confirmed NDDC board nominees and a plot for deeper interest. It is from this consideration above that we, the concerned Edo citizens, in conjunction with the coalition of Edo Volunteer Group, are calling on His Excellency, General Muhammad Buhari, retire to as a matter of urgency effect the following. One, the immediate inauguration of the substantive board for NDDC as presently constituted, screened, and confirmed by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria since November 2019. To remove the agency from the Ministry of Nature Data Affairs and return it back to the presidency. To the release government white paper on the forensic audit report submitted to government on the second day of September 2021. For take action against all those for what is and indicted by the forensic audit report to serve as deterrent to others. Mr. President, the people of Nigeria see you as the father of modern day Nigeria and all no grudges against you. We acknowledge your efforts at revamping the Niger data and restoring the degraded environment. However, they expect to be treated fairly and equitably, just as the North East Development Commission led is tackling the challenges of the North East region. We expect and demand that the Niger Data Development Commission, NDC, as presently constituted, be inaugurated to tackle Niger Data Return challenges. Matthew Adjakaye, TMC TV News.